Hello guys, this is Rain Dark Sky and JP Zombies bringing you to Burning Memory. Um, this was gonna be a game for Rain because I don't like reading, even though I'm making a book. I'm a contradiction. You know what else is Welcome a contradiction? Welcome to my world, get out. You know what else is a contradiction? What? Skittles. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to Burning Memory is an a historical and a temporal interactive Active. fiction work for IF Comp 2015 Explore a City That Never Existed and Uncover Its Secret History Through the Memories of a Woman That Lived in the Darkest Moments. Mi Yay. Mild content warning for violence and war. Okay. AKA words. Balcony. Breathtaking, isn't it? It says. Salad? Salad. Okay. We can't read. I gave my life to this place, she said, says with a sigh. Now I offer it to you. My tale is seen through many eyes, but judgment must be yours alone. I shall play the part of Cerrone? Cicerone. After my fashion, but not in manner, you expect, for I will be beside you only in memory. This should suffice to guide you through the tale to its end, and my absence will grant you clear eyes to draw out this conclusion as you will. Find me then in the orchards. Okay. Crazy lady. A balcony facing westward to the fore of a rooftop terrace, overlooking the city. Twin streams fed by long aqueducts flanked the tower in an embrace. Then split again its symmetry to fall into over the facades of the structure. Behind paved walkway pathways, whatever, walkway pathway, same thing, connected the cardinal points of the circular structure, and at the intersection rose a delicate white tower starking. This thing is movable, I'm guessing this is important. It's darkly contrasted silhouette. Contrasting. Shut up, you want to read? No. <laughs> Arcades. I, uh, whatever. The words. English. Not even real language, but whatever. That's accentuated. The circumference of the terrace as the sun fell on the water like a scar. Okay, I'm going to click on this. Oh, gosh. Not going to read all that. Nope. Okay. Finally into the game. The wind whistled through the arcades, a low and mournful hum, and the sound of kids putting in their coins. Wrong arcade? What? The whistles, wind whistled through the arcades. I want to go to this arcade just to hear what it sounds like. So why? At the opposite side of the tower, I could fully behold the western vista. Yay, you said one right. <laughs> Do you accept vista? <laughs> Never. <laughs> River stretching out to the uh, horizon, the opposite opposing shore veiled and bordered in fog, receiving long shadows cast from the tower, radiating out outward from the tower where the roaring falls glittered in the half light this what this circular pizza it's a two two what piazza oh piazza it's spanish i think nope they split to two pizzas i like pizzas more than piazzas wait they split the landing tower of pizza yes about time <laughs> the Lower tier accessible from here by twin descending staircases that curved inward de to embrace a small landing. Through blackened windows teased entrance, the tower itself allowed no means of ingress at this level. Ah, uh, descend down the stairs. The stairways flattened out and continued splitting the flow and to descend towards the outer. Arcades in the Red River. I'm kind of too tired for this. <laughs> well, why do you want to do this game? Because I wanted to, you to play it. <laughs> mm, 
not on camera. The entrance to the White Tower was here and darkened the shadow of the waning sun. A black monolith of a door. Okay, this sounds kind of perverted. Seamless and with no visible means of administration. Admission. Uh, examine the door. One closer inspection, a tight seam outlined a smaller in inner door. Inside door. Featureless except for an ornate handle and very Blah, blah, blah. Decorated with a solar motif, it was unlocked. I uh, can't tell you to get your glasses checked this time. I'm just having trouble reading. I had. I mistook smaller room set door for stock room <laughs> set door. <laughs> um, what's entered the tower? Oh no, we're all gonna die. The atrium took up the entirely entirety of the first two floors of the tower, hugging stately wooden paneling. It said go hug stately wooden paneling. No! It <laughs> might try and do something weird. The spiral staircase swept upwards. Heavy dust filled beams of white shone. Shown? Right? Yeah, shown. Is that spelled right? Yeah. That looks funky. Looks like it's about ready to have a jazz party. <laughs> <laughs> Through long vertical windows to fall on a sea of charred remains, the curled cinders of countless books. My favorite thing. <laughs> Burning books? Yes. Why? Even though I don't read, I like picture books. <laughs> Loser. Hey, 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 at least I sort of know how to read. Alright, here's the secret. The fun is not in reading the book. It's in burning the book after finishing it. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Two doors opposed to each other. The black painted monolith of a door leading... Can you stop saying black and monolith and leaning and back, please? Would you... F would you... <laughs> <laughs> to the terrace and the smaller set build of wood. Why? Stop it. And brass Dang and you and your crappy reading. <laughs> open to the remains of a once great hallway. Sift through the ash. And a monolithic black suit of armor. I waded through the ash, hand sifted char fragments of history, names, dates, time, and place. Now meaningless in their separation. Well, that's kind of sad. Freak. Search further. I tore through page after page, drunk on the prospect of discovery. Wow, you can get drunk on discovery. Let's go find some discovery. I am not watching the discovery channel. Why not? That's great. No. You don't like the discovery channel? All the animals and stuff? Well, that's, that's Animal Planet. Animal Planet, bro. And that's, I'd rather watch that. It's still discovery. We should watch some Animal Planet. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. And there it was, a single page unburnt alone, and that is actually un pretty impossible. <laughs> a single page not burnt at all in a pile of ash. Hmm. I don't think that's possible. It could happen. Should we do like a Mythbusters thing to see? <laughs> yes, we'll use you as the book. <laughs> Unburnt alone in a ray of setting sun. Hold the page to the light. Okay. A red rose it held in perfect detail an illustration of a seven-petaled rose. Someone draw that. I suppose you're going to have to take a break from the book take you're page. writing now for an autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't really been working on my book because... Well, last night I only got three hours of sleep because I was working on the intro. <laughs> Which you did not have to work on. I didn't have to? No, you did not. Why not? It's your time. You could use it however the hell you want. <laughs> but I want to get it done. I, wanna, I want this to look professional and for us to progress. The 
Atrium took up the entirety of the first two floors of the tower, Hudson Stately. Okay, we already read this. Um, ascend staircase, I guess. No, enter through the atrium hallway. Didn't we already do that? I don't know. Okay, let's go to the atrium. Through the shattered remains of glass panels, held aloft by ribs of steel, the That's Which one? Ribs of steel. <laughs> you don't have ribs of steel. <laughs> well, you weren't even touching my ribs, so... The waning sun filled the atrium with diffused light in tones of blood and gold, a fitting welcome to the devastation below. Speaking of that, we're going to play Transformers Devastation. Maybe. I'll play it and we'll record. You just comment. It depends on if I have a headache. That gives you a headache? No, but the words. <laughs> Tattered and smoke ba blackened banners flew from the ironwork. Buttress. Hat, Buttresses. But. <laughs> <Hat>, but. <laughs> oh gosh, I watched too much Minions. Countenance cast in vivid red under those stains. Wrath of battle surviving with all oh, that stoic, which is. Stoic is from Trainers of Berk, right? Uh, uh, how to Train Your Dragon and Driders of Berk, yeah. Which you're writing a story about that, that aren't fan you? Fan fiction. You gonna talk about it? Eh. Basically. It's a um, alternate world where Hiccup is not a dragon sympathizer. So what, he kills dragons? Yes. And his name's not gonna be Hiccup. What's it gonna be? Thorin. Thorin? Not Oakenshield. Who is Thorin Oakenshield? From The Hobbit. I don't remember. And I watched that. <laughs> um, where was He's I? He's the dwarf that leads the company. Oh. Still have digni dignity of a final stand. Charred furniture stood as a makeshift barricades under layers of cinder and catching the light through thick shards of broken glass. Let's examine the broken glass. Yay. The Institute's entrance gate was a masterwork in brass elegance and strength. An equal temperance gold hue belying the fortitude of stronger metal shut tight. Okay, leave. Um, and I want to say we have not actually uh, ever played this before. I played it a little, but not much. Uh, ascend. That I just heard about it for the first time before we started recording. The library was a cylindrical... Oh, and it's free on Steam. I definitely won't get it. It's something to give you a headache. And I think, actually, I don't remember who made it, but I think Russians made this. Oh, that explains everything. Does it? Yes. Like all the f fancy words, like mezzanine? Did I actually oh, no. say that right? I believe so. Woot! <laughs> the library was cylindrical in structure. What is with him and pillars and circular objects? I'm thinking it's a Russian chick if it is in fact a Russian made gang. Possibly. <laughs> a perverted Russian chick. Occupying in full the 7th to 11th floors of the tower. The first of these constituted a reading area and balcony, followed by three floors of mezzanine. A spiral staircase landed on the reading level below the filigree? Flow? Oh yeah, filigree. <laughs> I know how to say flow. <laughs> I lost track of where you were. Bite me. Of iron butts. 
and girder that held up the first mezzanine. This level was furnished with neatly arranged though signs of struggle marked the floor where this was not without exception. Exception. Ex exception. Yes. Ex each set with a single lamp. It sounds like rape. Keep reading about rape. Okay. All the grand structure forsook its purpose, however, as every shelf now held little more than a thin film of dust. Their intended contents lying as ash far below, centered an emphasis by the form of the library, lay a statue with the features of a three-headed raven, gazing with mournful eyes out over the river, long shadows cast before its stare. Step out onto the balcony. The tower casts its shadow over the river to touch the fog-shrouded shore. A small device sits precariously on the shore balustrade? What is a balustrade? Uh, not sure, but I can guarantee you the fog is coming. The fog is coming. Not winter is coming? No, nah, the fog. That'll be here much quicker than winter. Velvet fog? No, just the fog. Examine device. An elegant clockwork device the size of a pocket watch closed with a latch relief depicting a snake devouring its own tail. Uh, open awesome. it. Awesome. Uh, centered with the interface of the device, a cold brass signal sat... Sigil. Sigil. Sat upon a complex clockwork mechanism. Seemingly activated by the opening of the device, a needle began to protrude from below the signal. Sigil. You should be ashamed of yourself. And a short and abrupt wear of clockwork. Um, let's, yeah, sure, place finger on there. And you're dead. It's hunger sated, sigil faded. That was great rhyming right there. Was that intended or purely coincidence? <laughs> I don't know. An illuminance to that of a low flame still glow. Take it. No. A tower casts its shadow over the river to touch the fog. Shrouded shore. I told you it was common. <sighs> you actually called that. Wow. <laughs> uh, descend staircase? Activate memory. Ooh, our first memory. Yay, more words. <laughs> we gave them an ultimatum. To spill our blood is to put your word to the fire. There is a special place in the contempt of history for we book burners. But I say that yours is a cold-hearted... Wow. They burn books just like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cold-hearted... History indeed to wait way ink above we living. Breathing men and women and this our siege turned to a wary occupation. The provost Provost? Provost. provost. Okay, I said right the first time. Held his own in this loft palace of his, and we developed a begrudging respect for his admins. Maybe this immutab immutably held defense to some gain of gain. Okay. Get your glasses checked. I'm half asleep. Don't judge me. And the idol ideology of theirs. Ideology. But all things have their determinants. And in our world, with its unsleeping machineries of warring revolutions, the eternal now holds little truth. Like clockwork in this momentum Mo monotony. <laughs> this, monotony. The state will respond to the portent of violence and kind, and on the tenth day of our occupation, the 33rd showed their hands. The sight of the artillery cast a surreal pale over us, and we could not use image to theirs. In this queer way, they proved of what are use in the and threat. Night falls now, and I fear all this 
ideology of violence will become far less speculative before it's over. Explain what career means. Happy? Okay. Or joyful. Okay. Another complicated word for it is jovial. Jovial. <laughs> I feel like this is just a learning lesson for the viewers. This, here's how not to be an idiot. <laughs> Carry a dictionary everywhere. But, um, I think this is going to be our, uh, the end of our video right now, but, um, if you guys want us to do more, um, or talk about the books that we are making, I can make, uh, I have several races in my book, and I could draw all of them, or ask one of my friends to, and I could put them all in a video with a little music background if you would want. Just, uh... Like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you say if you want that. If not, we're just going to do games <laughs> for the time being. And or discussions when we get around it to those. Alright, so I think it's about time we say goodbye. <laughs> Adios, amigo. Thank you.